so here is the solution for question number 8 from time and work a and b can complete a work in 6 days a and b together in 6 days b and c together in 10 days and a and c together in 7 and a half days is nothing but 15 by 2 7 and a half is 15 by 2 so if a and b together work uh, they finish in 6 days then their one day work is 1 by 6 b and c together one day work 1 by 10 a and c together one day work 2 by 15 so on left hand side, if I add A plus B, B plus C, A plus C, everything, then A involved twice, B involved twice, C involved twice. So that means two times A, B, C is one day work is equal to on right hand side, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 10 plus 2 by 15. Now LCM of all these 30, 6 pi times 30, 10, 3 times 15, 2 times and 2 into 2, 4, because we already have 2 in the numerator. So it's going to be 12 by 30 which is 6 to 6 pi 2 by 5. What is this 2 by 5? 2 times ABC is one day work. So if I bring this 2 to right hand side, it becomes ABC is one day work is 2 by 5 into 1 by 2, that is 1 by 5. So as ABC together one day work is 1 by 5, that means all together take 5 days. But now the question is not how many days all together take, the question is how many days C alone takes. So to get C, from all together A, B, C, I have to subtract A, B together. But subtraction is not days, subtraction is rate of work. So what is A, B, C is one day work? As they take five days, their one day work is one by five. From that, what is A, B together one day work, which is already given the question, one by six. So if I simplify LCM 30, this is six minus five, one by 30. That means C alone takes 30 days. C takes 30 days to finish because C one day work is 1 by 30. Therefore, C takes 30 days to finish the work working alone. 